Help me get one more. In today's video, we will discuss the 10 best World War II movies on Netflix. Before we get started, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Success of this operation lies in your hand within the fate of your At number 11 we have, The Forgotten Battle depicts the Battle of the Scheldt in 1944. Set against the backdrop of World War II, it follows the lives of a Dutch Axis soldier, a British glider pilot, and a resistance woman from Zealand. The plot revolves around the Allied forces' struggle to take control of the heavily guarded Walcheren Island, crucial for gaining control over the port of Antwerp. You would slick. At the overkant. I'm not good. This story highlights the horrors of war the bravery of the resistance, and the internal conflicts of those coerced into the war. It's a poignant reminder of the often overlooked events of World War. Blood and Gold At number 10 we have, Blood and Gold is a new war movie released last year, set in the spring of 1945 during the last days of World War II. The plot revolves around Heinrich, a decorated Wehrmacht veteran, who deserts his troop to find his daughter. He crosses paths with Elsa and her brother Paul, who are hiding a Jewish treasure of gold that the Nazis are seeking. This story unfolds as they navigate conflicts with the SS, revealing village secrets and culminating in a bloody showdown. This film underscores the personal struggles and moral dilemmas faced by individuals amidst the larger backdrop of war. The Bombardment At number 9 we have the Bombardment, also known as The Shadow in My Eye, set during the last days of World War II. The plot revolves around a young boy named Henry, who witnesses a British bomber mistakenly shell a car, leaving him traumatized. He is sent to Copenhagen to recover, where he encounters various characters, including a young nun struggling with her faith. This story takes a tragic turn when the British Royal Air Force accidentally bombs a convent school, mistaking it for their target. This film underscores the devastating impact of war on civilians and the lasting trauma it leaves behind. Munich, the edge of war. We have to do it! At number eight we have Munich, the edge of war is a period spy thriller film set in the autumn of 1938, during the tense run up to World War II. The plot revolves around Hugh Leggett, a British diplomat and his former Oxford classmate Paul von Hartmann, who is working for the German government, as Europe teeters on the brink of war. Hitler is lying. They become involved in a plot to bring about Hitler's demise during an emergency conference in Munich. Operation Mincemeat anywhere near our briefcase. We are in the dark. If the enemy is waiting for us on those beaches, history herself will avert our eyes from the slaughter. At number seven we have Operation Mince Meat takes the audience on a thrilling ride through a peculiar yet true British espionage tale set during World War II. With a strong cast led by Colin Firth and Matthew McFadden, and under the direction of John Madden, known for his work in classic dramas, the film captures the absurdity of its real-life plot with surprises and dry humor. The story revolves around a daring plan to mislead Hitler by planting false information on a dead body that washes ashore, and it's all based on Ben McIntyre's non-fiction book of the same name. Although, what if the autopsy reveals he didn't die of drowning? Or if the briefcase is returned to us without the Germans seeing its content. The film weaves together espionage, romance, and physical gags as the team works to execute the plan. 
infusing the tense plot with moments of snappy, lighthearted camaraderie and personal vulnerability. Unbroken. In good health. If he drops it, shoot it. I wish you all a Merry Christmas. At number six, we have Unbroken. The film is based on the life of Louis Louis Zamperini, an Olympic athlete who joined the armed forces during World War II. After his plane crashes in the Pacific, he survives a harrowing 47 days in a raft with two fellow crewmen before being captured by the Japanese Navy. He is sent to a prisoner of war camp where he becomes the target of a particularly cruel prison commander. A lot of ocean. Inbound, three o'clock. Damn it! The film underscores Samperini's resilience and indomitable spirit, and his story serves as a poignant reminder of the personal struggles endured by many during the war. Darkest Hour. Fields and in the streets, we shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. At number five, Darkest Hour stands out as a riveting historical drama portraying the critical days of 1940 when Winston Churchill takes office as Prime Minister during World War II. With masterful direction, remarkable performances, and a richly balanced cinematography, the film captures the intensity of Churchill's decisions as he rallies a war-weary nation against Hitler's regime. There is the question of peace talks between ourselves and Germany. Europe is still... Europe is lost. Amidst the backdrop of a tense political climate, the movie delves into Churchill's struggle to unite his war cabinet and gain public support, all while facing the looming threat of invasion. The Imitation Game This war, we're not winning it. If you speak a word of what I'm about to show you, you will be executed. At number four we have Imitation Game. This film shifts away from battlefields focusing on the remarkable character study of Alan Turing, a key figure in British history. Despite not being a soldier, Turing's influence was immense during World War II. Tasked with deciphering the ever-changing Enigma code used by the Notleys, Turing's team faced a critical time crunch. Directed by Morton Tildum, this historical drama artfully balances the tension of code breaking with an exploration of Turing's personal challenges. You decrypted a single German message. You will never understand the importance of what I am creating here. Benedict Cumberbatch delivers a moving performance as Turing, a brilliant but marginalized individual, while Kieran Knightley enriches the narrative. Fury. At number three we have Fury. This World War II film follows a battle-hardened tank commander and his crew as they embark on a deadly mission behind enemy lines in Nazi Germany. Their tank, named Fury, becomes both their shield and their weapon in the intense, gritty, and often brutal combat of the war. As they push deeper into enemy territory, they face overwhelming odds and witness the horrors of war up close, testing their loyalty and resilience. They're coming! How many? 300 of them. There's five against 300. Fury is a raw and visceral portrayal of the camaraderie and sacrifices made by the soldiers in the heart of World War II. Saving Private Ryan. At number two, we have Saving Private Ryan, released in 1998 is about a mission during World War II, led by Captain John Miller, to locate and bring home Private James Francis Ryan. This mission, known as the Normandy Landings, begins with the Allied invasion of Normandy on June 6, 1944. Private Ryan is the last surviving brother of a family of four, with his three other brothers having been killed in action. The mission takes the soldiers through Nazi-occupied territory, where they face numerous challenges and losses make any sense here. Why? Why me? Why do I deserve to go? Why not any of these guys? They all fought just as hard as me. The film is a poignant depiction of the harsh realities of war, the bonds formed among soldiers, and the sacrifices made in the line of duty. Hacks Orich. You better come home to me. Please, Lord. Help me get one more. At 
at number one we have Hacksorage from 2016. This movie, directed by Mel Gibson, is a standout in his career and features some of the best performances from its actors. It tells the true story of Desmond Doss, a man who wanted to serve in the army despite his strong belief in nonviolence. The film follows his life, from falling in love to his time in World War II, where he showed incredible bravery in saving over a hundred of his fellow soldiers during a tough battle in Japan. The movie proves that a soldier can make a big difference in war without even carrying a gun.